Okay, there's her fly struck. And I'm checking, aha. Oh, blast, she's got fly strike. I've got to now see if I can catch her. Ah, uh, this is not going to be easy. I'm going to have to turn off the video to catch her. Now, I'm gonna roll her over and do the other side. This is to protect dung beetles. I don't insecticide my uh, sheep like most sheep farmers do. No, don't. Um, because I don't wanna kill the dung beetles. keep finding little nests of them in her fleece. Poor girl. It's that quick. It is that quick that that, that fly strike occurs. Okay, no, get away. Okay, now, turn her over. Hopefully she's not gonna kick the phone. Whoops, my shears, get those out of the way. There we go. Now, okay. Now I'll do up this leg. blade. Okay. gotten most of where they are. There's just one section right there. I can still see. Now. I know you don't like it, but it's better than having them little characters doing you in. Okay, let's see, a little bit more. <laughs> oh, nasty, you can see the little blighters. Nasty little feckers. Okay, nearly done, baby. Then I'm gonna put insecticide on you.
this one early. You good girl. I'm helping you out. Now, I'm going to shear the front part. Just check to make sure that I've got it all. Okay. Ah, this is hot work on a hot day. Good girl. Okay. bit more to do at the very back end of her. You good girl. Yeah. There we go. Those little nests are gone. Yes. Okay. Now, I've got to turn the video off. I was using the click, the insecticide. This is my oil. I was using the insecticide as part of my tripod. So she's being a very good girl. So she's all clean now. And open that up and pour it. You good girl. It's miserable having that, isn't it? It's miserable. Okay. I'm going to roll her that way. Have this here to squirt on her arse as soon as she gets up. I want to move that out of the way. Get that out of the way. That's not a real pair of shears, by the way. That's a shears you use for show animals, just to do little trims. But because it's electric, it uh, does the trick that I want. Yes, sweetie. Okay, now, I'm gonna lean you against me, and then I'm gonna roll you over. I'm gonna roll her over with my knees and squirt at the same time. Hopefully this will work. Oh, well, there she goes. She got a bit on. Anyway. There is uh, the flock. Literally, you can see the sweat pouring down me. <laughs> I'm dripping wet. Look at that. <laughs> anyway. All fine. I found another one with a little bit that needed uh, the first beginnings of fly strike. Treated that. And I'm vigilant this way. Instead of giving insecticide to all the sheep, I could put porons on all the sheep and I'd never get fly strike. Or I put it on every uh, period of time for a fly strike. But we are in ecocide crisis and I have dung beetles that a lot of people don't have. And it's why my biodiversity is so good here is because I have the dung beetles and I'm mindful of not doing internal insecticides 
injectable insecticides or pour on insecticides. All of those affect wildlife. It has been proven in research. This is not me being fluffy bunny about it or anything. And so if I have a sheep with fly strike, I'm vigilant about catching them early, trying to catch them early. Sometimes you miss them, etc. But that's three lambs that I've caught with fly strike relatively early within a uh, 12, 24 hour period of them initially getting it. And as you've seen, I've done the same with the uh, yews as well. But this is something that is vitally important. I am doing my husbandry, animal husbandry, to the best of my ability with the environment and the eco side in mind. And we need the sheep and the cows and the horses and the goats for the dung beetles for the rest of the biodiversity. Insect life is so important. And so this is why I do the animal husbandry the way I do it. I don't do it as a fluffy bunny thing. I'm doing it for the dung beetles. Anyway, that's enough of me on my dung beetle soapbox. <laughs> I'm gonna open the gate now and the flock's all gonna go back out and say, yay! Okay, come on guys, you can go out now. Go on. Brenda, leave it. Go on. Go on. They don't want to go out now. <laughs> they think I had to feed them twice to get, uh, to get, um, catch that one lamb because I was catching two instead of one. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. You can see the bare bottomed ones. There's her. There's three of them. She's the one I did the other day. Come on. Come on. That's that one there. And that's the one that had a tiny bit of fly strike on it. Gave him insecticide. And then the last one is, oh, she's up over there. You can see her black bottom. Anyway, there we go. Loads of lambs, and I'm keeping a vigilant eye on all of them that they don't have fly strike. And it doesn't, those that have dirty bums don't necessarily mean they're gonna catch fly strike. Fly strike can occur uh, uh, on any of them. I've had them on the backs of sheep that had no dirt on them, so you just never know. Anyway, so far so good for the time being.